Easy tomato soup spice cake really caught me off guard when I first looked at it, mainly because who puts spices and tomatoes together? I don't know. But it's in here. Someone took the time to handwrite it. So there was some thought put into this. And since it's in the book, we gotta make it on this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook. It's super easy to make this recipe, so here we go. Prepare a batter from one package of spice cake mix according to package directions. I went with, as you see here, a super moist spice cake. So I just dumped the bag right into a bowl. And then to that, I added one can of tomato soup concentrate. To wash out the can a little bit, I added one quarter cup of water and poured that in as well. Then after going on this wild deviation, you follow the rest of the instructions on the box and go ahead and add the three eggs and then mix together. I gotta tell you, tomato soup and dry cake mix at this point, it does not make a very pleasant smell. Anyway, we soldier on. After thoroughly combining all of the ingredients together, go ahead and add one half cup chopped nuts and one half cup of seedless raisins. Then dump this into either two paper lined eight by one half inch round pans or if your delivery option kept wildly changing and eventually showed up a week and a half after this was recorded, put it into a nine by eighteen sheet pan, greased, and then into a 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. And in the meantime, since this was going to a birthday party, I thought showing up with a frostingless cake would be sacrilegious, especially on Easter. I decided to make a simple cream cheese frosting to go on top of this. And the recipe includes four cups or about 500 grams of powdered sugar, which was this entire box, eight ounces of cream cheese, Half a stick of softened butter, then one teaspoon vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of salt mixed together. And be amazed at how quickly this all comes together. Then after 35 minutes, take the cake out and voila, let it cool a little bit, or actually a lot of it, and put the frosting on. And there you go. Easy tomato soup spice cake. Now's the taste exactly like carrot cake and it kind of confuses me a little bit not just because tomato soup and this made this but why not just make carrot cake i don't know this is a cool little trick if you want to pull anybody pull on anybody at a party just be like i made this with tomato soup and then everyone would be like oh i never would have thought of that and then just continue eating anyway this was a bit of a surprise. Frosting was amazing. Very much would recommend you frost your cake. Don't serve frostingless cake. That's just mean. Anyway, tangent aside, that's going to do it for this week on Grandma's Cookbook. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week with another edition.